Hey everyone, how are y'all doing today? I was gonna do a video this weekend, but I have my granddaughter and I decided to sell my chickens and the coops. Kind of a big decision because I put so much energy into all of it, but I've realized that there's other things that I'd like to put my energy in. And hopefully you guys send me some good energy, everything will sell and I'll make my money back. And then, you know, with it just being me living in my house now, my son's traveling, I don't have to worry about feeding him. He's gonna have to figure out what to do if the shit hits the fan, right? He's a big boy now. <laughs> um, yesterday I talked to one of my best friends and asked her how her kid's school day went and she said that they came home in total fear because all they heard all day was how dangerous the virus is. She's like, I'm gonna unprogram them, I, I've got this. And it dawned on me this morning while I was getting ready for work. What is the psychological damage that's happened to everybody? And I mean, I'm already seeing kids terrified. Now they're gonna go to school and get more fear instilled in them. This is going to cause long-term damage to your children, sending them to school to be feared about a virus that hasn't even killed as many people as the flu does every year. It's so frustrating to me. Some things I look at and I can just laugh because, well, it's just so in your face, the truth, and people are just not getting it. They wear their masks, they distance. People are telling on people. <laughs> I asked my son, I said, so like this new word that came out, Karen, it means like tattletales. Oh, he gave me the rundown. He knows all about these Karens. He's like, it's these women that if you're not doing exactly what they think you should be doing, they're all up in your face. Um, they will call the police on you. I mean, it's just crazy. I don't know who came up with the Karen thing, but it's, it's very funny and it's new. That's not something that I've ever heard of before. And then I was listening to the Colbert report today. And again, you know, when you're a truther and that's what I choose to call us because conspiracy theorist was brought to you by the CIA to make us look stupid so you wouldn't believe us or check into things or, you know, question the narrative. So Colbert talks today about, again, it's happening. See, we were, we were called sociopaths because we question things, we wanna research things. Well, now anybody who doesn't wear the mask is a sociopath. Well, I guess I'm like a quadruple sociopath because I've questioned everything all my life. I've drove people absolutely bonkers. And sometimes it's exhausting. It's exhausting to question everything. Sometimes I think, hmm, wouldn't it be easier just to do what they do, just to follow what they're told, what the government says to do? It would be easier, I guess. But honestly, I'm thankful for who I am. I'm glad I question things. And you know, whatever label people put on us, at any level that we're on in our awakening, um, that's fine. That's just proof in the pudding that we're bothering them and they're going to keep putting this stuff out to make us look, well, stupid or uh, uneducated or uh, fear mongers, you know? Kid, the kids don't need to be in school. And I know that a lot of people are having this problem and I'm sorry I'm jumping, but I just wanna go back to the school thing because the kids shouldn't be in school. They should be home. And I know it's hard for a lot of parents, but again, like I said in another video, you figured it out for months. If the kids are in school, they're gonna continuously be taught to fear people. And that's part of the agenda here. They don't want us to be humans anymore. They don't want us to be social, uh, five senses, the smelling, the tasting, the touching, the things that we do as humans, they're turning us into the transhumanist situation. Like, um, what did Musk say? He wants to merge us with the AI. I mean, guys, look at all this. If it's just like a step, 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 it's all just going together. I know that even for my granddaughter, it's probably easier for her mama to put her in school, but her mom's trying. And I guess yesterday, Zoom went out all over the East Coast and some places in Texas. I guess it was a huge deal. Uh, a lot of the programs aren't working in the virtual learning. 
So yeah, parents are going to have a struggle, but just struggle through it, figure it out. Everybody's having these problems. I was told quite a few times yesterday that there was teachers that were saying, well, nobody else is having this problem. I don't know why you're having this problem. Really? Because I heard there was a lot of problems in a lot of places. Just stick with your kids, be there for your kids. Don't let anybody fear them. Teach them the truth about a virus how a virus works, how a virus can be transmitted or not transmitted. There's so much information out there. I swear if you just took maybe two hours, you would learn so much. You need to learn how this works. It's not what you're being told. You're all being lied to. And then I heard from, you know, Ice Age farmer that a man in Australia. So here we go guys, because we're on fire. Australia was on fire. I just kind of look at what they're doing in other countries and what's coming our way. And now Australia is pulling the man was a truck driver and he's going through a checkpoint to go home. And they wanted a blood sample, which when did that happen? But they want a blood sample to check him to see if he has the virus. He denied the sample. He thought nothing much of it. Went home. He got a letter in the mail in a few days. And the letter in the mail said that he needed to go to a designated place and give a blood sample to be checked for the virus, or he would be fined up to $5,000. Well, he threw the letter away. He was not going to comply. I respect that. Then he heard a weird noise in the backyard a couple days later. Police had come in through the backyard and through the front without a search warrant, as far as I know, and they detained him and they put him in what they're calling these, um, I can't remember what they're calling, like a quarantine place, but it's like a hotel where you get a certain amount of food every day. They basically control everything you do and you're locked down for 14 days. If he didn't go, it was gonna be a $20,000 fine and up to 12 months in prison. Don't think that's not coming for a virus that's not doing shit. A doctor came out last night and talked about in Ireland how he is just completely over this and how the government's handling things I guess there is just completely unacceptable and I want to say kudos to that doctor I cannot remember your name I apologize there are people standing up but we need to stand up the right way this I guess is my kind of way of standing up is doing my videos because I truck drive all the time and if I'm not doing that apparently I'm busy with chickens which that's gonna change and I'm gonna get back into the gym and and really work on my health because honestly this has stressed me out too not knowing what's gonna happen having good ideas of what could happen the un, excuse me the uncertainty of our future and I mean we know our, everybody's pretty crazy so anything that we talk about could actually happen um, like you know an EMP that, that scares so many people um, you know you go buy a cow you put it in your freezer you think I'm good for a year I got food and then the electrical grid goes out. And I guess today we actually got some kind of a shake that did affect our electrical grid. And I can't remember where he said it was exactly like if it came from the sun or whatever, but it doesn't surprise me because a lot of people think that this dark winter is gonna be an actual dark winter, no power. So, like I said, I'm gonna go a different direction on my prep. I've already have quite a bit of prep and things that I, I feel really good with. Um, I don't think that anybody can prep if things are gonna get so bad that we're talking about years and years and years of, you know, people not being able to buy their food and whatever else could possibly happen, which I'm not gonna put in this video. I might do another video on that someday and just call it the freaking fear video because there are so many things that could go wrong and so many things that they could pull. And we've really allowed a lot of it, you know? I mean, I do posts and do this and do that on social medias and I talk to people out there and that's all I can do right now. But I know that there's people out there that have more time and they could really be causing a ruckus without taking down small, pe small businesses from people who work their butts off for those businesses, you know? It's all an agenda. And don't think Australia stuff isn't going to come here. And then I heard that there's going to be a universal income in the UK of $1,400 a month. 
well, if $1,400 a month comes here, I can't live off that. Can you? Nope. So I don't really know what's coming. I'm with you guys on that. I have a lot of ideas. I can see how things are working out and what's probably next. And they're definitely after our children. I mean, you fear somebody enough, they will merge with the AI. They'll think that that's going to be their savior and that's not your savior. Nothing on this planet is your savior. Anyways, those are just some thoughts for me. I really worry about the kids and I, I hope that people can see the psychological damage that's already been done. Hug them and love them and tell them that they're everything and they're, there's nothing wrong with them, that there's just some things wrong with this world. Bye, guys.